Hi, this is Representative Jeff Morris from the 40th Legislative District. I'm up here on the, the top of the Capitol Dome where we have a 20 kilowatt PV electric solar system that generates electricity here on the Capitol campus. I wanted to be here today because it's demonstrative of something that's changing in the way our electric utilities deliver electricity to you. It's an important but complicated topic, but I'm going to try to explain it as simply as we can so you can participate with me in making decisions about how our electricity should be delivered to us over the next 20 years. What are the things that are driving this change? Well, we're making choices that we want as customers, that you want in your household and you want your kids to experience. You're buying electric vehicles, you're buying more energy efficient appliances, and you're buying solar systems just like the one on the Capitol roof behind me here. You know, not since Edison invented the light bulb have we seen more change in the electric industry. Those utilities since that time have always had centralized generation plants, large gas plants, large coal plants, large facilities that generate electricity far, far away, ship them through those big high voltage transmission lines you see running along the highway and across our state, down to a local distribution line that runs up to your house. You know, when your neighbor buys an electric car or a solar panel like the one behind me or more efficient appliances, that's causing a dramatic change in the way utilities work the grid. From that substation you see down the block that has all those transformers that run up to your meter at your house, the utility is, is the spot where they know the least about. They're blind to what happens in that part of the system much of the time. And part of what I want to be up here on the roof is I want to talk about how the grid of the future is going to work and the way to do it the most effectively that's going to keep your rates lower. The reality is here at the state capitol we have this 20 kilowatt system that generates electricity the most during 10 to 2 o'clock in the daytime. And if you see a solar system down the street from your house, that system also generates the most electricity between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Well, here at the campus we have all sorts of state employees that drive their electric cars to work and we have charging stations all around us here. And when they plug in during the daytime when they're at work, these PV systems are producing enough electricity to charge those cars up so they can be driven back home. That's far different than having a nuclear plant in Eastern Washington that ships electricity over here to charge those cars. That's happening right here behind the meter at the state capitol. And that's the most efficient way to actually get electricity to those vehicles that smooths out the peaks and the costs. One of the issues I'm working on is called smart planning or distributive energy resource smart planning. It's trying to get utilities to realize that they need to start seeing clearly what's happening on your street. How different technologies like these electric vehicles, these smart meters, the thermostats that heat your home more efficiently, how those are all going to work together behind the meter so that they don't have to make large capital investments. Right now the utilities have a system where they react to things happening in a crisis mode. That's the most expensive way to approach our electric distribution grid and that's what's going to raise the cost of electricity in the long run. I hope you'll work with me in asking them to support House Bill 2045, which I've been working on, which is asking them to do this basic planning to see how these solar panels can work with those electric cars and those appliances that you're buying and have them work in harmony together so that we don't have to make these expensive investments on top of the system and be reactive. Uh, please contact your utility. Say, I want to have smart planning. I want to make all these appliances and cars work together. And as much as you want more information on this, please contact my uh, office at the number or my email address. And I'm happy to send you more detailed information on House Bill 2045. Together, we can make this a smart grid that works together and keeps our electricity rates low.